everybody. Today we are going to read a really lovely story. It's a story all about invisible buckets. Did you know that you're carrying an invisible bucket right now? I'm carrying one too. Your mummy's carrying one, your daddy's carrying one, your, all your grown-ups at home are carrying one, all the grown-ups at school are carrying one, all your teachers, all your friends are carrying one but you didn't know because they're invisible. Well, we're gonna find out about these buckets today and how important it is to try and keep everybody's buckets full right up to the top. Okay, shall we find out? Right, here we go. The story is called, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? And it's written by Carol McLeod and illustrated by David Messing. There it is. Now you can have a closer look at the pictures in this book if you click onto your activity and if you click onto the link at the side it'll do all the big all the pictures from the book all up close so you can see them a little bit better right here we go all day long everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket you can't see it but it's there Oh, look at that. That looks like a nice bucket, doesn't it? But we can't see them. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents have a bucket. Your friends and neighbours, they all have buckets. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. And we didn't even know, did we? I wonder what they're for. Shall we see? Your bucket has one purpose only. That means there's only one thing it's used for. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel happy and good when your bucket is full. And you feel sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Oh, we don't want to empty our buckets, do we? We want our buckets to be lovely and full. You fill them up. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. Other people can fill your bucket and you can fill theirs. You can fill your own bucket too. So how do you fill a bucket? ideas how you might fill a bucket especially if you can't see it what could you do oh I see you fill a bucket when you show love to someone when you say or do something kind or even when you give somebody a smile that's being a bucket filler oh I see so to fill somebody's bucket you have to do kind things a bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things to make other people feel special. When you treat others with kindness and respect, you fill their bucket. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I think we could be bucket fillers, couldn't we? Oh dear. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. We don't want to do that, do we? You dip into a bucket when you make fun of somebody, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's bucket dipping. Oh, I don't like the sound of bucket dipping, do you? Bullying is bucket dipping. When you hurt others, you dip into their buckets. Well, you will dip into your own bucket too. So if you're unkind to somebody, not only does it empty their bucket, but it starts to empty your bucket too, because it will make you feel bad about yourself. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They may think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. 
But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. That it is a nice feeling, isn't it? If you make somebody smile or if you're kind to somebody or you help somebody, it does always make you feel good inside as well, doesn't it? That's because it's filled up your bucket too. All day long, we are filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and by what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mum and dad, so why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets with joy. And it'll fill your bucket too, won't it? Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you to try. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new child at school to play with you. That doesn't even have to be the new child. You could choose any child to play with you and that would definitely make them smile, wouldn't it? You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like spending time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. I bet you can think of so many ways, can't you? Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school and your neighbourhood better places for everyone. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. Oh, definitely a good idea to try and fill a bucket, isn't it? So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. Oh, that was a lovely story, wasn't it? And it's true, we do have these invisible buckets and you can fill them. So today I want you to have a really good think. How are you going to fill somebody's bucket? And can you fill your own at the same time? I want you to think of three things. Three things that will help you to fill somebody's bucket. And I want you to say them nice and clearly out loud. Today, I will fill somebody's bucket by, and then tell me what you're going to do. I can fill somebody's bucket by, and something else. And then you might say, I can fill my bucket by, and I want three things. Now then, if you really want to challenge yourself today, I've added a sheet. If you click on add um, on your activity, you will see there is a sheet with a bucket and there are three stars on the page. You could write down the three things that you could do to fill somebody's bucket. If you don't have a printer and you can't print that off, that's okay. You could draw a picture of a bucket and you could write the three things on it. Or you could even draw a picture of the three things that you're going to do to fill somebody's bucket. Now, there's an, an other, another task for you to do today as well. It's your rainbow challenge. And your rainbow challenge today is going to be to make a family bucket and see if you can fill it by the end of the day, by all the kind things that you can do for each other at your house. I can't wait to see them. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I really, really, really want you to think hard today about how to fill those buckets. Okay, can't wait to see them. Bye bye.